President Obama has proposed his $3.8 trillion budget for 2011. That includes a deficit of $1.3 trillion. Now, those are some very big numbers. And we continue with continued economic uncertainty. Can investors and consumers have confidence that this is the right plan? Joining us now is John Pratt. He's a Democratic congressman from South Carolina and the chairman of the House Budget Committee. Welcome to you, Congressman. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So let me ask you this. So with so many cost variables year to year, the most recent example, of course, being the Recovery Act after the financial crisis and the ensuing recession, how do you trust that a budget proposal will hold up? Well, you can look through it and decide whether or not the things that are being proposed have been proposed before, been around the track and haven't made it. What we're looking at in this particular budget, what the president is looking at is, number one, he has his eye on the economy. Number two, he has his eye on the deficit, knowing that if the economy doesn't go up, the deficit won't come down. So that's a key purpose that we'll be studying the budget for for the next several days. Are we moving the economy up at the same time we're trying to bring the deficit down? Those are the objectives. Now, the jobs and growth. Indeed. And with growth, it assumes, this budget assumes that you've got to have a 4% year over year annual GDP as some. Uh, uh, expansion, excuse me, and a lot of economists are skeptical about that given the headwinds that this U.S. economy still faces. Well, coming out of a recession, that's not too much of a, an assumption. The economy grew at 5.7 percent in the last quarter. Nobody expects that to be repeated in this quarter, but nevertheless, it's a pretty good marker for the fact that we're coming out of a recession and against a lower beginning base, we're having fairly high rates of growth. All right, so if the president's budget, as you are quoted here, puts one eye on the economy and one eye on the budget, today we did see another leg up in the manufacturing sector, followed by a real strong read on GDP last Friday. So how much does the economy have to improve before the forecast for the budget deficit improves? Well, I think you'd want to see several quarters of repetitive growth. What we're also looking for is jobs to grow, come out of this growth, and we'd like to see the unemployment rate begin to fall from 10 percent to something in a reasonable range. All right, let me ask you for your reaction here to House Republican leader John Boehner, who issued the following statement on the president's budget proposal. Just three days after talking to House Republicans about the importance of fiscal responsibility, the president, this is the quote, is submitting another budget that spends too much taxes, too much, and borrows too much. Well, let's remember where we are in relation to where we started. When the president came to office, the quarter before he came to office, 1.7 million Americans lost their jobs. The deficit was at record highs. On the day he was had his inaugural, his projected deficit was a trillion three hundred billion dollars. That's what he had to begin with. Now we've got a deficit next year of a trillion five fifty six. This budget will bring that deficit down from 2010 to 2011 by about 200 300 billion dollars. Not as much as you'd like, but, but it takes it on a steady downward glide path for the next four years, going from 1556 to a trillion 267 to 828 billion, from 10.6 percent of GDP to 3.9 percent of GDP. If we can actually attain those projections, I think we'll feel we've made a worthy achievement three or four years from now. House Budget Committee Chairman John Spratt, Democrat from South Carolina. Congressman, thank you for sharing your, your insights here on the budget proposal. And